Stop! 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 Brand new video tonight showing the moments before deputies shot and killed an armed carjacking suspect. All of it happening inside a bingo hall last Saturday morning. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. We first told you about this deadly shooting in Clark County just hours after it happened last Saturday. Tonight, we're getting a first-hand look at how it unfolded. We'll show you in this body camera video the moment deputies enter a crowded bingo hall chasing an armed suspect and the chaos and fear that followed. K2's Barry Mangold is at the live desk with more on this video tonight and the latest on the case, Barry. Yeah, Steve, Deb, it's certainly gruesome video and the new video showing the perspectives of both deputies who fired shots in this incident as well as two who were witnesses to it. We have edited out the graphic images in the video. We will not be showing you the moment that the suspect gets shot or the aftermath. The video starts in the parking lot of the Salmon Creek American Legion around 11.30 a.m. last Saturday. Deputies found a van that had been carjacked earlier that morning. Now this video here shows, shows canine deputy Michael Gonzalez chasing after the suspect named Benjamin Woods through that parking lot and into the American Legion where people were playing bingo inside. This video now showing inside the uh, building from the perspective of Deputy Jim Payne. You can see the crowd there on your right side huddling under desks and tables as the suspect runs into the bathroom. Deputies telling him to stop. Next, we're going to show you the moment that led up to the shooting. Knox, here. Dude, Dude you're going to get shot. You're going to get shot. <laughs> Body camera footage showing these two clear images, one on the left side with the suspect holding that gun up at deputies, another on the right side showing the same gun on the ground after the shooting. The two deputies who fired and the two who witnessed it are all still on administrative leave pending an independent investigation. In a few hours after all that happened, the woman who was also suspected of carjacking was also arrested. She is currently in the Clark County Jail. Her name is Lindsay Jones. She's due back in court next month.